Hello, my name is Brent Ramsey, Technical Advisor for Canon USA, and today I'd like to introduce you to Canon's first model in the multi-purpose camera line, the ME20 FSH. Now, you may have already heard about this camera as that ISO 4 million camera from Canon, and that should give you a big clue as to the incredible low-light sensitivity the ME20 FSH possesses, and perhaps even the technology behind it. However, it doesn't do justice to the really vast range of shooting options this camera actually possesses. The ME20 FSH features a newly developed ultra-high sensitivity image sensor. It has 12 stops of dynamic range with Canon Log Gamma and YDR, full HD recording output up to 5994p, numerous connection options, and it supports a wide range of lenses and includes a built-in digital teleconverter. However, it's really the incredible low light capabilities of this camera that should fire you up the most, even in dark places where you can hardly see a thing with your eyes. It's possible to shoot clear and bright pictures in color with just the faintest of ambient light. So let's start with a low light demonstration so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm now going to show you a split screen low light demonstration using one of our latest Cinema EOS cameras, the C100 Mark II and the ME20 FSH. First, I'm going to ask the crew to black out all the ambient light that's getting into the studio, like the emergency exit sign, and then turn off every single light. I'm then going to ask the crew to set the C100 Mark II to its highest ISO of 102,400. And I'm also going to manually set the ME20 FSH for this demonstration. Now we've got every single light off in the studio except for just this one. The entire studio is being lit by a single candle. Now I'm moving around the studio and as you can see, it's being lit entirely with just one candle. But the ME20 FSH handles it quite well. So that's just one example. Okay, now just to give you an idea of just how sensitive the ME20 FSH is, I'm shooting with a 24 millimeter lens at 1.4, 0dB, which is ISO 800, at a 48th shutter. Now, look what happens, I step into the shadows, you totally lose me. Now, we're gonna increase the gain in increments. Pretty soon you'll start to see me again. Now look at this, contrast is back in the scene. You're starting to see color behind me. We're going all the way up to plus 75 dB. That's ISO 4,560,000. Pick up the T-Light again, I'm totally overexposed, right? I can almost use this as a spotlight. But that's not all. Watch what happens when I blow it out. I'm being lit by just the glowing ember. Okay, so now you get an idea of what I'm talking about. This camera is very sensitive. Now, understandably, you may not necessarily want to use these settings in your next feature film, but what about a wildlife cinematographer, law enforcement, documentary filmmakers, surveillance? Well, you know what I mean. Well, that was pretty impressive, right? So now let's talk about the camera itself and some of its key features. Enclosed inside of this rugged cubic shaped chassis is a newly developed 35 millimeter full frame CMOS image sensor with approximately 2.26 megapixels. Now you're probably thinking, hmm, 2.26 megapixels, that doesn't sound like much, right? But get this, each pixel measures 19 microns. Well, even if you're like me and you don't really know how big a micron actually is, you'll appreciate this. It works out that each pixel on the ME20 FSH's sensor is more than seven and a half times as large as an equivalent pixel in an 18.1 megapixel, 35 millimeter full frame image sensor like the 1DX has. So the light sensing surface area per pixel was increased substantially. And this was done by specifically tailoring the 35 millimeter full frame large image sensor to shoot full HD movies. The sensor's pixels and readout circuitry make use of Canon's proprietary technologies to achieve reduced noise and exceptionally high sensitivity. It can deliver images with a minimum subject illumination below 0.0005 lux at the maximum of 75 dB gain 
which is equivalent to an ISO sensitivity over 4.5 million. Internally, the ME20 FSH contains four built-in motorized filters, an IR cut filter to remove infrared light, two ND filters with a 1 8 and a 1 64th or 3 and 6 stops, and a clear for shooting in the infrared mode. These filters are easily dropped in and out manually with the joystick or by remote operation with the Canon remote controller RCV100. Now the RCV100 connects by either the 2.5 millimeter jack and a round 8 pin jack for RS422 connection. Now this allows operation with the RCV100 from several hundred feet away. The ND filters make it possible to work under various shooting conditions just like you would expect with any other HD camera system. However, by switching it into the infrared mode, the ME20 FSH becomes even more sensitive to infrared light, and this allows you to shoot in near total darkness. And when I say near total darkness, I mean as close to complete darkness as you can possibly get. So, the filtration system basically means the camera can shoot in a variety of lighting conditions ranging from broad daylight to very dark places with hardly any light. So now let's take a look at the camera body. The cube-shaped styling is ideal for system building and it allows you to easily secure the camera to a fluid head on the top or the bottom. Or you can combine it with various system components using one of several quarter 20 attachments on the top of the camera. Now this makes it ideal for adding accessories. The small lightweight aluminum body with magnesium panels has a depth of only 113 millimeters, that's 4.4 inches, which of course lends itself to easy installation on or containment in many third party accessories. So now let's take a look at the back of the body and its connectivity options. By using output only 3G HD SDI and HDMI terminals, Canon's ME20 FSH makes it easy to output video via a single cable to a variety of peripheral equipment, including external recorders and monitors. Genlock allows for seamless interaction between devices by making sure that the different video signals are all being generated with the same timing and they're in sync with one another. This is an absolute must in a live broadcast or multi-camera environment. The ME20 FSH is also equipped with a 2.5 millimeter jack and a round 8 pin jack for RS422 connection. A 3.5 millimeter stereo mini jack allows the camera to connect with an external microphone to output audio with video signals connected to peripheral equipment. Okay, there's two power terminals, a four pin XLR and a two pin power connector. So now let's talk about its lens capabilities. The ME20 FSH features an EF cinema lock mount, which enables lenses to be securely attached and detached with ease. The ME20 FSH will support a wide selection of compatible EF, EFS, and EF cinema lenses, which includes a large selection of Canon zooms and primes. Now, the camera also supports HD TV broadcast lenses with an adapter, but you get additional functionality by using Canon servo lenses that attach to this 12 point pin here. You can also double or quadruple the focal length of any lens that you mount to the ME20 FSH by using the digital teleconverter with very little quality loss. Okay, now get this, the ME20 FSH is equipped with a Digic DV4 processor and can support a high dynamic range using YDR or Canon Log Gamma profiles. This allows you to shoot video with a wide gradation of up to 12 stops, which will decrease the loss of details in the dark areas of the shot, something that, as we all know, occurs in most low light shooting conditions. It also reduces overexposure in highlights and allows for a high degree of color correction. So what about deliverables? The ME20 FSH can produce full HD as 1080p, 1080i, or 720p. The output is recorded to an external recorder and it can support frame rates up to 5994p in full HD for shooting slow motion. So there's a good range of recording options. Now focus is important, right? And to aid with focus assist, the ME20 FSH uses one-shot AF, a quick and accurate confirmation of focus. To do this, you go into the menu and you assign a button for that. Or you can remotely focus using the RCV100. 
Low-light cinematography is relatively new and certainly intriguing. The Canon ME20 FSH is clearly aimed at a number of different markets that will take advantage of this unique strength. I'm sure the production industry will want to adopt the ME20 FSH as a specialty cinema camera, taking advantage of its unbelievable low-light capabilities. There's no doubt it should see extensive use in documentaries, reality television, and nature and wildlife films. It goes without saying that it will thrive in nighttime surveillance and security, but one of the areas I find especially intriguing is its potential for underwater cinematography and exploration beneath the oceans. I'm Brent Ramsey for Canon USA. Thanks for watching.